we have a new Speaker of the House. Aren't you guys excited? I mean, the House of Representatives was dysfunctional. Speaker after speaker, uh, you know, lost or couldn't be appointed or couldn't get the Republicans to rally around them. We had McCarthy, we had Scalise, Scalise we had um, uh, Jordan, we had, uh, uh, you know, I forget the other candidate's name, the guy who, who dropped out when uh, Trump turned against him. And, you know, whether it was the kind of the, the far right congressman who uh, vetoing McCarthy and forcing him out, or whether it was the more quote, moderate Republicans uh, stopping Jim Jordan from taking the position. Finally, after all the haggling and all the back and forth, they have found their man. The Republicans now have a Speaker of the House, a representative for the Republican Party. And I think it is super indicative who they have picked. Um, you know, say so every Republican voted for this guy, a Representative Mike Johnson from Louisiana. Um, Every Republican voted for him as Speaker of the House. Uh, this is a man who is a dedicated religionist. Not just, you know, average religionist Republican. This guy is a dedicated religionist. Uh, when he celebrated his candidacy, um, his, uh, his colleagues circulated an image of him on bended knee praying for divine guidance with other lawmakers, not just anywhere but on the House of Representatives floor. Uh, in his first speech from the chamber as speaker, right? He's number three in line for the presidency. He said, quote, I believe God has ordained and allowed each one of us to be brought here for this specific moment. See, so he's now ordained by God to be speaker of the House of Representatives. He has a mission from God. Remember that from the Blues Brothers? Mission from God. He's kind of a mild-mannered, but religious fanatic. He's an evangelical. Uh, Christianity has been at the center of political life from the beginning. And he is now the most powerful Republican in Washington. Um, you know, he's deep roots in the Southern Baptist Convention. Uh, and, uh, you know, he is a, uh, uh, an active anti-abortionist. He is an activist to uh, eliminate the separation of church and state. Um, on top of that, of course, he was a part of, uh, you know, part of the Republicans who, uh, you know, advocated for the fact that the election was stolen, the last election was stolen. He, uh, you know, in, in violation of his constitutional responsibility, voted or to, to delay the affirmation of the elected president of the United States. Uh, he belonged to that kind of part of the Republican Party that decided to ignore reality. Uh, you know, he is, um, he is very comfortable with authoritarian social control not particularly interested in individual, uh, in individual uh, uh, liberty or individual freedom. He has uh, stated that, you know, in describing himself, uh, he says, and I'm quoting, I'm a Christian, a husband, a father, a lifelong conservative, constitutional law in and in support of criminalizing gay sex. This is the new Speaker of the House of Representatives. Um, he has, um, uh, let's see, he thinks prayer is appropriate, House of Representative response uh, to the main shooting, um, and he is, uh, let's see, yeah, he's, he's worked as an attorney for every conservative religious Christian advocacy group, for a very Christian religious advocacy group. Uh, and um, he, one of his pet peeves is the separation of church and state. He's really against that. And to put the cherry on the top, as a lot of these kind of right-wing, crazy Christian Republicans, he is an adamant, in adamant opposition to American military aid to Ukraine during its war with uh, Russia.
So that is who your house speaker is. Right? Um, this is who represents Republicans. This is who is the number three in line for the presidency. This is the modern republic. This is the essence and the nature of the modern Republican Party. It is a religionist party. It is an anti-individual rights and anti-freedom party. It is a party dedicated together with its pals on the Democratic side to the eradication of individual liberty, um, individual liberty uh, in, uh, in the U.S.